I think the mentality of Brexit is one that's driven by a sort of strange afterlife of certain ideas of history, ideas of the Second World War, which are turned into a kind of almost a fantasy that Britain didn't really win the Second World War, that the Germans somehow managed to create the European Union as a way of dominating the British after the war. With the legacy of empire, which I think we all thought was over, you know, 30, 40 years ago, but there's still certain aspects of the imperial imagination are still at work. The idea that Britain is exceptional, that it's a great power, that it has to be at the centre of the world, it can't just settle for being an ordinary, prosperous, respected Western European country. That's not enough. So you have these kind of bits of old, undigested history that are still kind of hanging around in the system. And they are proving to be dangerous in that they're creating certain delusions beyond which a lot of the British system just can't see. They can't step back and look at themselves as they really are uh, and look at where their interests really lie, which are very much about staying in the European Union. They're drawn towards certain kind of fantasies of how they should be and they want to make a, a reality of those fantasies. But the problem is fantasies are just fantasies.